In this video, we are going to solve this radical equation 2 root 3s plus 4 plus s equal to 36. Let's get into it. We have 2 root 3s plus 4 and plus s equal to 26. So in this s is not part of the square root. Let's move it to this side so that the square root can be a new half to root 3s plus 4 equal to 36 minus s. To clear this radical, we need to square both sides. You have 2 root 3s plus 4 square equal to this is minus s squared. And 2 root 3s plus 4 squared. 2 squared is 4. Then root 3s plus 4 squared the square root of the value. So I have 3s plus 4. Then equal to, let me open this bracket. 36 minus s times 36 minus s. Distributing this, 4 times 3s is 12s, and 4 times 4 is 16, equal to 36 times 36 is 1296. 1296. Then 36 times negative s is negative 36 s. Negative s times 36 is negative 36 s. Negative s times negative s is positive s squared. Collecting like terms, these two can be added together. Negative 36, negative 36, that's is negative 72. So I have 12s plus 16, equal to 1296 minus 72s plus s squared. And this is giving us a quadratic equation. Let me move everything to this side. So I have one. Uh, let, me move, let me move to this side since I have squared one. We have um, 1296 by 0 equal to, I want to move every time into this side. 1296 minus 16 and make negative 72s. When I move this 12 to this side, it's not minus 12s and plus s squared. That will give me 0 equal to this minus this is 1280 minus this negative 72 negative 12 less negative 24 24 s plus s squared. That is quadratic equation. I can rewrite this on um, to form a perfect quadratic equation at 0 equal to s square negative 84s sorry then plus 1280 let me factorize this with this multiply by this gives me 1280 S one. Two factors of 1280 S one that can add up to this middle term. But when we multiply them, we should have 1280 S one. The factors are 64 and 20. 64 S one S rather and 20 S. When multiplied, it should be all this. But when we add them, they should have this. That means both of them should be negative since we are looking for negative with twice. So let's replace the middle term now with the factor so that our equation becomes 0 equals s squared minus 64 s minus 20 s plus 1280. I will group them 2 by 2 s squared minus 64 s. And minus 20s minus 1080 equal to 0. 
in the first bracket s is common so let me capture that s minus 64 in the second 20 is common s minus 64 equal to zero since we have a common factor there s minus 64 then we group this together s minus 20 equal to zero see that s minus 64 is equal to zero or s minus 20 is equal to zero and that means s is equal to 64 or 20 and let's check which of these equations satisfy or which of these answers are that satisfy the equation 64 or 20 what was the equation? The equation is 2 root 3 s plus 4 plus s equal to 36. The, our two values of s are 64 or 20. Let's check with 64. 2 root 3 times 64 plus 4 and plus 64. Let's see whether it will be equal to 36. That will be 2 root 3 times 64. That should be 1 other than 3 times 64 is 192 plus 4 and plus 64 again. 192 plus 4 is 196. And square root of 196, that is 14. Have 2 times 14 plus 64 and 2 times 14 is 28 28 plus 64 definitely is not equal to 36 not equal to 36 that means this is not a solution it's an extraneous solution let's check for 20 let's see whether we arrive at 36 Um, when s is equal to 20, let's go back to our equation, which is 2 root 3x, that will be 3 times 20, plus 4, right, yes, plus 4, then plus 20 outside, let's see whether we are right at 36, the half 2 root 3 times 20 is 60, and 60 plus 4, 10 plus 20, which is 2 times 60 plus 4 is 64, square root of 64 is 8 plus 20, 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 20 is 36, therefore s equal to 20 is the only solution to this equation. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I release a new video. Thank you.